The best part about being an effects artist is telling people what you do. I know we work in the game industry, but we do go out and have a drink, and they'll ask you, what do you do? And I'll tell them, I blow shit up for a living. And that's the best part about working in the industry. <laughs> My name is Martin McCall. And I'm Adam Capratis. Together, we create the effects you see in Firefall. The most important thing about designing effects for Firefall is, number one, understanding what the player sees and giving them the feedback they need to understand what's going on in the game. Whether it's an explosion or a piece of text that goes across the screen, muzzle flashes even. Once we get past making sure the player knows what they're seeing, we go to performance and making sure that no matter what happens, whatever quality setting you're at, the frame rate of your experience is always strong. The number of particles on screen at a time uses memory, and we want to make sure that we have proper LODs so that the further you are away from an object, LOD level of detail, the less memory it's going to use. And number three is the visual quality. Mark and I both strive to get the awesomeness out of every time somebody does anything. We want somebody to go, holy shit. I really try hard to not replicate other video games and to make our game very visually different. I enjoy my job the most because I get the complete creative license to do whatever I want. My job is to take his crazy ass ideas and actually make them possible in the game. I'd say that the most challenging effect so far um, has been the scan hammer. <laughs> Nobody really had a clear idea what a scan hammer should do or look like. Um, and of course, uh, leave it to Adam to come up with the Artist. craziest idea of all. I am constantly going over to Mark and saying, hey, it'd be really cool if, and that's when his talent comes into play and his time. Every effect's different. Um, some effects require a lot more prototyping than iteration. Other effects require a lot more iteration than optimization because it's, it's very easy to uh, ask too much of the graphics hardware um, in a, the type of game that we're working on. The hardest effect I ever had to work on would be the plasma cannon. As simple and straightforward as it sounds, plasma doesn't really exist in the world, except if you put a matchstick in a microwave, and that doesn't look anything like video games. So it's still so difficult to like nail what is plasma, what is this energy? And so I'm always constantly going back and looking at it and trying to change it and tweak it and improve it listen to feedbacks and see if they see anything that have changed. Working in the limitations of our game, which is so unique, we have third person, first person, open world. You can see forever. It's so satisfying to do something at that level. Thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate all of your feedback and your support. And we're making this game for you guys. So we'd love to see you guys on the battlefield and hope to see you soon. I have always wanted to make the earth explode.